Good morning, guys. So today we're going to do a little different. Um, I have a product share for you uh, for all the new stuff that's in the shop. Um, I'm, I'm going to try it this way a little bit. It's it's a little chaotic and crazy, um, but I thought this might be a little bit quicker and you get a little bit of everything. Like you could see different sets together, like kind of next to each other and kind of see an idea of sizes and stuff like that. And it might be a little bit quicker. Um, I don't know. In my head, this sounded like fun. So we're going to do this. So um, I'm just going to go through and show you everything that's new in the shop. Um, also, my hands are super shaky today. They're not as bad with the phone, but when I'm holding these tiny bits, like they're shaking super badly. So um, I thought this might be a little easier because my phone's not shaking as much, but as when I'm holding the little bits, but if I am making you sick. I'm really sorry. I'm trying really hard to hold it steady. But anyways, so um, I also hurried and got all this stuff. Um, my release was supposed to be the first, which in my head was yesterday. And um, Saturday, like halfway through the day, I realized it was yesterday. So I spent most of Saturday and all of Sunday um, working to get that up. We also have a sale going on. And I've never done like an actual sale. I've done coupons um, and I don't do those very often. You guys know that I try to keep the prices low so that you don't have to pay extravagant amounts. Um, if you ever are curious about pricing, um, you're always welcome to message me or whatever. But um, basically how my pricing works out is it's the amount of wood and the time it takes to cut in the machine. Um, and that's, there's like a formula that I perfected like a long time ago um, that breaks that down. And then, so literally I just type in how much, how long it takes in the machine and then um, decide how much wood it takes on a sheet. And then um, the formula does it for me. And so um, anyways, so that's how pricing works. But I don't know why I was talking about that um there was something oh so anyway so sale so I try to keep prices low um if I can work um if I can work things out so that they take less time in the machine I usually do stuff like that um to try to make it work so it's cheaper but um, I don't do sales very often and this is my first ever actual sale where you can go in the shop it's all on sale and you don't have to um, enter any codes or anything but you have to spend at least $25 so t yesterday was the first through the 10th um, it's to celebrate International Scrapbooking Day and um, sorry you're just like staring at stuff right now International Scrapbooking Day and Mother's Day are both next weekend. So to celebrate both of those, um, we're doing a big sale. Uh, you'll get, if you spend at least $25 in the shop, then automatically it will take 15% off your total price. So that is the sale. Um, it's going on now through the 10th. So make sure if you want to buy anything um, with the sale, make sure to do that before the 10th. And it has to be at least $25 purchase. So, um, and honestly, that is just to keep so that, um, like there's so many fees and stuff that come out of Etsy and shipping things and product and everything. So that just keeps it where I'm not losing money if it, <laughs> if it goes under that amount. So, um, anyway, so we're gonna, I'm a little all over the place. You guys, are probably used to this because this is just how I am but um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything so this release the first stuff is gonna be Toy Story um, I've had this requested a lot and I mean we all love Toy Story so this is the first set and it is um, the Toy Story icons so you get all of these little icons in it um, Jesse Woody Buzz um, I can't remember his name Oh, the purple bear, um, ham, the aliens, Forky, 
India, um, I had to cut more Forkies because India carried Forky off. Um, the first Forky off. <laughs> um, um, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, Slink, Rex. Um, sorry, I can't, it's hard because my hand is, I zoomed in, but it makes my hand look like, it makes my hand feel like it's not where it, I see it, if that makes sense. So, um, Bo Peep. And yeah, anyways. Oh, and then the Pizza Planet. I love the little Pizza Planet um, rocket. Okay. The next thing is we have these teeny tiny uh, alien stickers. Okay, these are super cute and tiny. They are something I found a while back, and they're kind of expensive because, uh, they, I mean, they were expensive for me too. So um, I think they ended up being like my price, like almost three dollars a sheet so they're like yeah anyways um but they're these teeny tiny little alien heads and look their eyes look in different directions but they're just so cute I don't have very many of these because like I said they were expensive even for my part so um I if you want these I think there's eight or nine sheets in the shop I think eight seven seven or eight actually so anyways so there's those um the next thing are the barrel of monkeys and they don't have to be toy story i mean they're just monkeys but they're that um the next one are the aliens i love this set um so we have the claw you've been chosen the ooh i love the ooh around the um circle the claw whatever um a, a bunch of little sorry, I can't find my finger. Um, a bunch of little alien heads. The, there should be nine in each set of the alien heads. There's some stars sprinkled in and then some claw machines. So there is that. And then the last note, there's one more after this. So then there's the toy soldiers, the little plastic army men. Um, I think there's 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So there's 16 of those. And basically what they are is there's two of each um, icon, but they're reversed. So like each one has a partner that faces the opposite way. So there's, how many did I say? 16. So there's eight different army men. And then, yeah. And then the last one for the Toy Story stuff is the phrases. So you have, I made a new friend with Forky because you know, he, she made him as a friend. Um, Spud Muffin, there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. What the Fork, not today Zerg, son of a building block, which is, I, is hilarious. So anyways, um, to infinity and beyond, there's a snake in my boot. I'm a nervous Rex and that actually, pops up in another set to that phrase because I think it's hysterical um you're my favorite deputy and you've got a friend in me if you are international and you don't want favorite spelt with an just an o you want an o u um anytime you see that in any of my sets if you find favorite and you want it spelt differently or like if it says like color and you want it spelt differently just message me and um I can make that work so yeah, just let me know whenever you place your order. Or um, you can also just leave it in the notes to seller and say like on whatever set it says favorite, can you spell it with an O-U? So anyways. Um, oh, and okay, so these are puffy hearts. They're like the puffy butterflies that I had last month. I mean, that I put in the shop last month, they're still are some in the shop so not had like they're gone but had like they were uploaded last month so there's um seven different ones they're not very big um there's mint white pink silver and gold in the glitter and then in the foil there's gold and silver the foil ones seem just a little bit larger just I mean ever so slightly larger but I think it's the material that the glittered ones are made out of um make it like they kind of shrink up a little bit whenever they heat press them. So they are ever so slightly larger, but not enough to make a difference. Then the last, oh, and then I have these happy birthday stickers and I just think they're cute. They're, um, you get two little sets of each one in one package. So you get 
what's three times six and 18. So you get 18, so you get six of each style if you get a package. Um, so you get 18, I think they're only like, mm, don't quote me, but I think like two-ish dollars. Um, I can't remember the math. Um, but yeah, so um, they're all just happy birthday ones. I just thought they would be nice little, um, when I found them online, I just thought they would be nice little, um, just to have on hand because every once in a while, I'm really bad. I don't make cards or anything. I don't usually buy cards. Phil's super into buying cards, um, like especially like funny cards and stuff and like cards that play music and you know, the cards that cost like eight bucks a piece. He loves those. Um, but to me, it doesn't really matter. Like, um, I have friends that give me cards and I cherish them like crazy, but I don't, it doesn't need to be an $8 card. I, I mean, anyways, so I'm really bad. I never buy cards. Um, if, if it's for somebody Phil wants to buy a card for, then we buy cards, but I don't choose, I choose not to. Um, so if I make a card or usually what it is is I punch a hole in a piece of paper and tie it around this the loop of the bag <laughs> real quick I think those would be perfect for it because um I mean you could just stick it on there and then you have a happy birthday anyways it doesn't matter um the last three sets on this tray before I move it and you'll see I kind of went overboard this month I got really excited about several different things um and kind of went off the rails and then there was other sets that I intended to make this month and it just didn't happen because then at like later on, um, some of my design team members mentioned dinosaurs and then they don't know that I went crazy and made all the dinosaur things yet because it was bef like I had already sent out their, their May design team packages before I got the dinosaur sets done so they don't know that the dinosaur sets are here but there is a ton of dinosaur sets and they're so freaking cute and I'm so excited so um the last one okay we are getting so distracted I promise I took medicine this morning I just don't know that it's kicked in yet I'm a little all over the place uh but I'm also just really excited so <laughs> um the skateboard set so the skateboard set's really fun um so I try to make it like I know I'm okay I'm 32 no I'm not I'm 31 wait yeah I'm 31 that was really dumb I'm sorry uh, <laughs> I trust me I know that I am not cool and I don't know what's cool in teenager life right now and trust me India tells me all the time that I don't know things and she's only five like it's gonna get so much worse anyways I wasn't even cool when I was in high school. I was a loser. So <laughs> who cares? Anyways, um, so I added a bunch of stuff that I thought was cool. So your kids might not think it's cool, but I think it's cool. So um, so we got skaters gonna skate, uh, totally bored, cause bored, like skateboard. <laughs> um, is my board okay? So it's like the whole idea that you fall and you've like cracked your head open, but you gotta make sure the skateboard's okay. Um, I love the little skeleton with the skateboard as the crosses. We also have a regular skeleton there too, but I just think he's so cute. Um, why walk when you can skate? And of course we had to throw some vans in there. So there's some vans down here too. Um, the railing thing, the skater, but with an eight, I thought that was cute. This is how I roll. Cause you know, you roll on wheels and anyways, so, and then the half, half pipe, half pike, half, whatever it is and then skateboards and all the things. So I also did these little guys um, because they look like checkered like little vans. So I had to do that. Um, and then we also, to go with the skateboarders, there is, I mean the skateboard set, skateboard phrases, I think is what it's called in the shop. Um, we have the skateboarders, which are just the little skateboard dudes um, and they can, you can use them for whatever. So I just, they were super cute. And then the last one on this tray um, is like the teenagery kind of set. I have more teenagery kind of stuff coming, but it's just not, like I said, I got distracted and went off on the rails on the dinosaurs. So um, this set, I think it's called the Cool Dude Sprinkles. Um, so you have 
cool dude rad I love okay this whole set literally was started because I found this little guy and I just thought he was the freaking cutest thing in the whole world so this whole set is centered around him um I got the cute little glasses and of course I mean I had to use the glasses that look like my glasses because I love them so um you've got and I know everybody has airpods now which is ridiculous but um I got the little earbuds that are all tangled up I thought those were hilarious um phones little um like rocker hands stars broken hearts all the things so oh and then the little converse and then the drippy pizzas and anyways so there's that so I'm going to move this tray my whole craft room is a freaking disaster here I'm going to show you just really quickly so we have naked Moana baby all sorts of snacks I still have Easter candy there's some Cadbury eggs back there if you can't see um so like literally it's just just when it gets so much worse oh my gosh look over there and then look at the floor I can't even walk through over there. okay okay sorry it's really fast okay um and then I dropped oh crap I hope you can't see me oh crap okay Hopefully you didn't see my face trying to bend down and get that. Okay, so next we're going to go over here. The first set is the Olympics. Um, this was a special request um, for Olympic themed things. So there's the Olympics set. Um, all of that comes in one set. And then I also have these extra large rings, which I don't know. You could use them as frames. You could just use it. I kind of thought if you did like a six by eight album it would be kind of cool um floating in a page protector without any paper or anything and like some sprinkles or something I don't know it would um, not sprinkles um sequins that's what I meant anyways so there's that that's the Olympic set then we have I'm gonna go through the spring stuff next so these are the seasons titles so summer winter spring fall um there is the spring tiny word strips and I set this phrase aside because whenever I was peeling these I was looking at the bring and I was like why does it say bring this does not make any sense why would I put bring in this like I'm the one that created the freaking thing and I couldn't remember why I said bring so it's um I set it aside so I'd make sure you knew it's April showers bring me flowers so there's those this is the spring titles so it's um flourish the eye goes over there flourish grow and bloom um then we have the praying mantis set okay so my friend crystal it was crystal right yeah yeah it was okay um i don't know crystal's last name actually i don't remember anyways but crystal and i were chatting on um messaging back and forth um and we were talking about different stuff what were we talking about it was something else maybe it was these maybe this is what she messaged me about we mess we were messaging about something else and then um we got to talking about praying mantis and i didn't know it was a thing that you can buy praying mantis eggs and hatch them and let them loose in your garden so and she like informed me of this and she said they do it every year and it's supposed to help with like mosquitoes and stuff it's super easy so totally as soon as she said that I googled it and then bought freaking praying mantis eggs so we have praying mantis eggs um we have two they're supposed to be up to 200 in each egg but we spray um we haven't done it in a long time but we used to have our house sprayed for bugs because we had um like spiders and earwigs in the house so bad but they sprayed the perimeter um well don't spray it's like a powder thing anyways but any of them that get too close to our front door they always die anything anything that does like we had a caterpillar that was going to build his little chris chris no that's not what it's called um whatever they do Oh my gosh, my brain is not functioning. Anyways, so all the bugs that get too close to our front door, they die. And I didn't want to chance that. So our praying mantises are going down the street. My aunt lives 
two doors down, um, or there's two houses between us, I should say. Um, so our praying mantises are down there. So we're going to let them loose down there. Um, so, and we're down there anyways. So, and they'll, hopefully they'll help with the mosquitoes and it'll be fun. So, um, but I ordered them from, I Googled it because you can get them on like Amazon, but it was cheaper and, um, I don't remember like better for some reason, whatever it was, it was better wherever I bought them from, but it's like Argo organics or something like that. So if you Google them and they weren't very much, it was like $10 or $12 for three. And then I gave my brother one. So anyways, praying mantis. So she requested praying mantises and I was like, okay, so we're going to have to do a set now. So, um, we have it where it just says praying mantis and then a bunch of praying mantises cause they're all different looking, but this is my favorite part. And it says love them and eat them. Cause I don't know if you know this, but after praying mantises mate, um, the female praying mantis eats the head off of the male praying mantis. So <laughs> I had to do the set. It says love them and eat them. So the end that was that whole spiel um the russian nesting dolls you get seven and they all um they're a quarter of an inch difference between each i think so they start at like three quarters of an inch and it goes up to two inches i think i can't remember anyways um a lemonade stand set this was also a special request from um one of my design team members, Wendy, and I really love, okay, so I'm, my all-time new favorite font is this font, and I don't know what it's called, um, but I've used it so much in this collection, especially on the dinosaur stuff. Um, it's, I just really love the font, so, but it's like, some of the letters are skinny, and some are fatter, and stuff, so I, it's just fun. So anyways, so Lemonade Stand, this whole set, and then there's lemonade sprinkles to go with it. They're kind of bigger. Um, they're not super tiny or anything. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so lemons to go with it. I also have a lemonade and a pink lemonade spring, uh, sequin set coming, but that has not happened yet. I just have kind of run out of time and get, obviously you guys know I got distracted. So that hasn't happened yet, but those will be coming eventually. Um, this, these are teeny tiny, I'm trying to get a better, they're completely clear. There's no, um, you know how some rhinestones, like the backside is mirror finished. So it's like shiny. These are not opaque. These are, what's the opposite of opaque? These are like, they're like frosted kind of like frosted colored if that makes sense but they're tiny they're teeny tiny like maybe a quarter of an inch um and you get a tablespoon it's like the sequins so you get a tablespoon worth in one package and i haven't used them on a layout yet but i think they're gonna be super fun so you get a ton in there um i'm just setting it aside <sighs> let's see what comes next okay so then there's the i think it's like rain clouds and thunder set um so you get six clouds uh, three lightning bolts, an umbrella, and some raindrops. And then, and it actually works out perfectly because it's like raining super crazy today. And India's all dressed up in her rain gear and she's got her pink sparkly rain boots and her little raincoat and her umbrella. And her umbrella like changes colors based on if it's wet or not. Like it's got unicorns on it. And if um, it gets wet, then it like the colors anyways it's really cool so i took pictures this morning before school um then we have the tiny bunny peeps and i have a set of bunny peeps but they're bigger um already in the shop they're they if you get that set it has two different sizes in it but they're larger these are teeny tiny so and then um epoxies that are also bunny peeps and i really love those here let me see if that helps I just think they're super cute. So there's that. Then I have two floral frames. Um, so this is the full wreath floral frame. And then this is the half wreath floral frame. And you can use it as a ring or as a frame, however you want. I mean, really, but I just thought for spring, a floral frame would be fun. Um, and then, okay, these are like my all time favorite right now. 
so these are the roses okay so these are resin flowers they are six millimeters wide they are probably about three millimeters deep so a little deeper than the um, wood veneer but not as deep as um, the wood buttons not quite as deep as the wood buttons um, sorry my brain like blanked I couldn't remember what I was trying to say so in each package you get three of each color and the um, number of colors varies for each one but I think it's around 10 for each one you get at least 30 ish in each package so um, but there's like a nice variety of colors in there. So these are the roses and then these are the daisies and these are a little thicker too because they, um, those petals stick up so much, but then these are my all time favorite. These are thinner. These are the thinnest out of the three, but these are my all time favorite and they're little sunflowers. They're so cute and detailed and I just love them. They're my favorite. So there's that. So there's those three options um then there are vases vases um and you just get a variety of different shapes and sizes and um yeah so you can mix and match and then the last thing for the spring stuff actually one more thing um are the flower pots the clay flower pots so you get three of each size um in each okay so there's in each size there's one with the outline and one without so and then there's three sizes sorry I made this really difficult to explain apparently so you get so these are the six shapes in the package and then you get three of each shape if that makes sense so you get 18 total um, for those okay so let's talk about Encanto, um, Encanto, and so there's this set. I'm moving this. So there's this set, and so you have family is everything. Encanto. Um, did someone say flowers? The magic is in you. You are my gift. Strong like Louisa, my best self. We don't talk about Bruno, of course. We had to do Bruno. Um, and there's a little magic in all of us. And then her glasses. I love her freaking glasses. And I'm super excited about this set because my cousin that she is um, the special education preschool teacher at India School. Um, every year she hatches eggs with her kids. So um, this year they did ducks. And so they named all the ducks, all the baby ducks after the Encanto characters. So um, yeah, so we have, to, I'm excited to use that set for those photos. Um, and then we have the extra large um, magic candle. And I think in the shop, this is just called Magic Family because, you know, Disney and we can't. Yeah. Anyways. So, and then, so this is the extra large magic candle. And then also to go with the, the D-I-S-N-E-Y that we're not supposed to talk about, um, we have black little mouse head gems and rainbow mouse head gems. So those are two different sets, but there's black ones. The black ones, um, if you want the solid black ones, there's not very many in the shop. There's only like nine, I think, sets. But if you want these, there's a lot more sets of those. Then the last um, of the springish stuff are these teeny tiny little gummy bear resin gummy bears they are so freaking cute look how tiny they are like oh they're so little okay so you get three of each color I think there's six colors I think six okay oh Sesame Street we almost forgot Sesame Street this is the best one okay so this is the extra large Sesame Street sign then there are half inch Sesame Street faces then there's one inch sesame street faces so these are the exact same thing but half inch versus one inch so bigger and smaller so these are like the size of like flare and these are the size of like the epoxy sprinkles see they're like that size okay then there are oh look there's epoxies here i could have just held them up next to that and they um they also are the same as the faces the wood face of these and these are the same as 
these they match perfectly um so these are the epoxies and I love the epoxies they took me forever to make and they are so freaking cute I'm so excited with them and I can't wait to use them on everything um India's decided she's scared of Elmo like up until like a few days ago she has been terrified of Elmo she accidentally saw a video where they were talking about Elmo being creepy Elmo and it was literally it was a guy dressed up in an Elmo suit and he was walking around he wasn't doing anything creepy but somebody like on the video called it creepy Elmo so now she thinks Elmo's scary so we're definitely going to do a layout about that <laughs> but, <laughs> Um, so then this is the Sesame Street icons set. So you have all the characters on there. Um, and then we have the Elmo heads, uh, sprinkles, and then we have the cook chocolate chip cookie sprinkles. So these come, there's the two together and then there's one that's like a bit out of, so you get six of each, six of the two and six of the one. So, and then the same with the, mo the monkey, Elmo heads and um, you get six of the small and six of the large okay the last set over here before we move on to the other side um or the last set of sets is the lego stuff so this is the lego top view sprinkles they might be called bricks or blocks in the shop um i can't remember what i actually named it but there's those um also if you if you are on the listing and you slide through the pictures um like in the shop on the listing uh slide through the pictures and the last picture or maybe it's the second picture one of the pictures i had taken them and tried to make, spell out the word legos and it fit perfectly like it used every single block and it but it sell it spelt legos perfectly so it was really cool i really love those and they are um proportional to each other so like like if you wanted to stack them together um they're exactly the same sizes so they would like fit together like legos if that makes sense so you could build different shapes or like you could do like a frame oh i was gonna do a frame with the legos i forgot okay anyways and then there's the epoxies so there's um two of each color but there's a smaller one and a larger one like the the two and then the three and then of each color and five colors oh and then duh, the titles i love the titles because this one is my absolute favorite it took me forever to build this but it is my favorite so it's love but they look like legos and these are oh no they're not because i changed the size they were at one point the same size as those but it ended up being huge. So um, they're not the same size, but yeah. So anyway, so you have master, builder, maker, brick, and love. So you could um, do master builder, brick maker, brick love. Uh, let's not do love maker. Sorry, I didn't think that through. But anyway, so you could interchange them to do different things. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna save dinosaurs for last. So then I'm gonna turn this light off too. So maybe my lighting will be a little bit better. No, that didn't do anything. Um, so gamer stuff. So there's the gamer titles. There's a gamer frame. And then these are the acrylic or resin. Maybe they're resin, I can't remember. Um, little controllers and they are super thick they're like as thick if not thicker than the wood buttons they're like the same thickness if you bought like a sheet of uh, like a an acrylic piece from somebody else's shop because yeah um you get six in a package and they are kind of expensive because they were expensive to purchase um and then also if you notice the blue one none of them have um the black filled in and i think it's just because of the dark color um they didn't do the black so if you get it it's not messed up that's just how it came 
Then there are the monster aliens and they're super cute. I just love them. They're so funny. So, and I couldn't decide if they are monsters or aliens. So we just named them both. So monster aliens. There's also the tiny or not tiny, the small faux clips. And I'm going to reach over here so you can see. Oh, I don't have any more of the regular ones. That's like the big clip. So they're a lot smaller than the other clip set, like way smaller. So they're super tiny. So there's that. Okay. And that's everything other than dinosaurs. So now we're going to do dinosaurs. So these are the dinosaur footprints and they're so cute. And they are, I think the exact same size here. We're going to go over here for a second. I'm so sorry. This is going to make you sick. I'm just going to kind of go over to the side. I'm trying to find the stencil. Okay. So the dinosaur footprint stencil, these are the, so this is the stencil and these are the wood veneer. So they're almost the exact same size if you wanted to lay the, them over like that so that they would coordinate together and it's the same shape or whatever. So there's that. I'm going to turn this back on because I think the lighting might have been better with it. Yeah. Then there are the tiny dinosaur sprinkles and they are so freaking cute and tiny. Um, so you get three each of each dinosaur shape. I, there's either six or seven. That one. This one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six shapes, three of each. Oh, seven because if you do the eggs. So there's those. And then this is the Rex um, titles and phrases set. So you have I'm a nervous Rex, which coordinates with that other, um, with the Toy Story set that I was telling you about earlier. Um, Rexy and I know it, like sexy and I know it, but Rexy. <laughs> um, check yourself before you Rex yourself. Uh, Rex, but it looks like dinosaur, like they look like they're dinosaurs. So, and then Rexcellent. So there's that. Then there is um, the Easter dinosaur set. So happy East Roar, um, Stegosaurus, like egg, uh, Bunnysaurus, and he's got little bunny ears. There's a T-Rex with an Easter basket. Um, and then there's a couple little eggs. And then this is, it says a uh, candyvore, like carnivore, but candyvore and it's got chocolate in it. Oh, and I'm going to knock them all down. Uh, the next set are the dinosaur silhouettes and these are the realistic silhouettes. So they look more like real dinosaur shapes, not like the cutesy like these. Um, they're more realistic looking and they are just the silhouettes. So they can face either direction, um, depending on how your page turns out or whatever, like however you want to do it, you, you can turn them either direction. So then there's this set and I think this set's hilarious and literally this whole set came about because I had to make one that said Sassy Saurus. Um, India's birthday, her third birthday um, was dinosaurs and um, mad scientists. Okay, it's a long story, but I couldn't decide and then I finally decided on dinosaurs and then Hobby Lobby put all their mad scientist birthday party stuff on mega clearance and we bought all of it. So then we had to combine it. And so it, her party was the mad scientist from Jurassic Park birthday party. That was her third birthday. Anyways, doesn't make a lot of sense. It's fine. It worked in my head. So this is all the like girly dinosaur stuff. Girls like dinosaurs too. I want to be a princess. Scratch that dinosaur. Um, there's a stegosaurus with a little crown on. There's a T-Rex with a wand. There's a triceratops with a skirt and then all the necklaces. And he, he has a little bracelet too. And then sassy source, but we had to do sassy source. So that trumped everything. I had to do that set because we had to make sassy source. Um, this is the, the dinosaur love titles and phrases. So you have dinosaur obsessed, dynamite, love, but the heart is the O and it has a bite taken out of it. Um, just a kid that loves dinosaurs. Um, the mommy and baby dinosaur with the heart. You make my heart sore like dinosaur, but it's also 
yeah, anyways, <laughs> and then the T-Rexes and then the little Stegosaurus. Um, I loved the T-Rexes because their little tiny hands, it worked so well that they were both holding the heart. It was hilarious. And um, these are the small cutesy dinosaurs. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. Um, I can't remember how you, many you get. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So you get fifteen of those. And they're not super small. Like if you, here, we're going to take them over here, compare them to the tiny dinosaurs. They're not that small, but they are smaller than the silhouette dinosaur, the dinosaur silhouettes, whatever. My all time favorite set, I think of this entire collection, of this entire release, whatever, is this one. And it's just because of the roar. I love the roar and it's roar and it looks like his teeth are cut out. I mean, like they took bites out of it. So, um, roar, don't ever want, mm, don't ever let anyone dull your roar. Roar, 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 roar. Roar means I love you in dinosaur. Uh, roarable, like adorable. And then roarsome, like awesome. So anyways, that is all of the stuff. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, requests, anything about the shop, please let me know. You can go down to the description box to get the link to the shop. Um, also, Again, reminder, every if you make a purchase of $25 or more, the, and my brain stopped working. If you make a purchase of at least $25 or more, you'll get 15% off automatically now through the 10th. So make sure if you have stuff you wanna buy, this is when you should buy. Um, I, again, this is my first sale. Um, I do coupons every few months. Uh, not very often at all, but this is my first ever sale. So um, you don't have to use a coupon code. You just have to spend at least $25. And then, yeah, message me, comment. Um, if it's something shop related or product related or Etsy related in any way, message me on Etsy. That's my easiest way to contact because it comes through like a text message to me. Um, and then, yeah. So thanks guys so much for watching. Sorry, it's I really thought this would be faster and it probably is faster than it would have been, but it's still like 40 minutes. So super chatty. So sorry, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for just everything. For all the likes, comments, shares, every anything, all the interaction. I love it. I appreciate it so much. And we really appreciate the shop love too because really it does help buy groceries and gas and you know all that th stuff which speaking of which i need to go get gas before i go get girly from school and yeah so thank you guys so much for everything i really 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 appreciate it um india really wants a scrapbook soon um like she wants to make a video so you might see one of those soon and hopefully i will scrapbook this week phil's working from work today and tomorrow and then he's off the rest of the week so i'm going to try to record some stuff probably more likely tomorrow than today. I'm exhausted today. Um, but I'll try to get some videos recorded so that you can have some layouts coming up. And then I have a secret project I'm working on that hopefully I can show you a flip through soon. And um, yeah, I can't show you till I can let the secret out. But um, I mean, it's not it's, it's a gift. So <laughs> don't it's not like we're not pregnant or anything. I don't, don't get excited like that. We are one and done, just India. But um, I'm working on a, a gift album. So um, I will try to hurry and get that done so I can do a flip through for you guys before I give it away. So have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy scrapping. Bye, guys.